What's up guys, NYKF31 here, NCAA 14 online gameplay using Georgia Tech going up against the Florida State Seminoles. Big sports day. Good sports day. Wall-to-wall -wall bowl games, a couple of good college basketball games as well. I watched my Notre Dame Fighting Irish defeat Rutgers in the Pinstripe Bowl. Very weird of a game. You know, Notre Dame played all right. Kind of sloppy at times. A couple of missed opportunities in the red zone, but you know, whatever. Win the game, get nine W's. Tommy Reese, you know, closes out a decent career. He didn't screw the game up. And on to next season. So all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with Notre Dame's season. I can't get really disappointed considering the circumstances. They pretty much won the games they should have won with the exception of the Pittsburgh game. And I would have liked to have seen them win one of the three games that they could have won. Namely the Oklahoma game. I think I thought that was a winnable game. But, you know, Stanford is tough. But overall, you know, I think they could have had a 10-win season, 10-win regular season, 9-win regular season just as easily. But I'll take 9-4, and four, all things considered, with Tommy Reese playing and a mountain of injuries that piled up to the defense especially. So, on to next season, on to Everett Golson coming back. The um, Belk Bowl, not a very good game. I was kind of flipping between that and um, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky is always a fun college basketball game to watch. And now that the Belk Bowl is winding down and that game is winding down, we have two more bowl games tonight. We have Miami, Louisville. That should be a very good game. I'm looking forward to watching that game. That should be fun. Watching a Teddy ball game in what is, or what should be, or probably is, his last college football game playing the U. I'm sure the U and their fans are happy to see Stephen Morris playing his last game. <laughs> and after that, we have Michigan K State. It's always fun to see Bill Snyder playing a bowl game. And. As far as Michigan goes, to hell with them. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious to see how this um, kid they have playing quarterback. I believe he's an um, ESPN Elite 11 guy from last year. So I kind of want to see what he's all about, see how he looks. And then after that, we head into the NFL. A lot of good football this weekend. NFL, we got two basically playoff games in Green Bay playing the Bears and Eagles against the um, Cowboys. I think the Pack are going to win. I think the Eagles are going to win. Doesn't pick much of a limb to go out on and pick the Eagles to win with a backup quarterback playing for the Cowboys. Poor Romo. I'm a Tony Romo guy. And, you know, he takes a lot of flack. But I like Romo kind of underappreciated and takes more flat than he deserves, but what can you do? It's part of the nature of being a high-profile player and a quarterback of all things. The most high-profile player on a very high-profile team. But as far as college football goes, as we wind down to the end, we still have bowl games coming up flat, fast and furious. So... In this game, I'm taking Georgia Tech up against Florida State. You see I'm down 15-14 and back on defense and trying to play some 4-3 uh, uh, cover 2 style with them, which is a little bit difficult going against Florida State. I don't match up very well on the defensive line versus their offensive line, which is going to make a pass rush kind of hard. And plus, Georgia Tech's linebackers and coverage aren't that great, but their secondary is pretty good, so... I'm just trying to piece it together as best I can. And right now I'm trying to defend the red zone. As he tries to put an L on me with the famous one, famous Jameis. 
They come out on an empty backfield. Can I hold? As he goes empty on fourth and goal. And the yes, I do. Quick throw. So I will have the ball back again. So Louisville, Miami. What do I think about that game? I think Teddy's going to play strong. I think Louisville's going to win. They're a bit of a paper tiger in some ways, but I think that they're a better team than Miami, better coached. Miami seems to be kind of discombobulated, especially on defense. Offensively, they're okay as long as they don't have to have Stephen Morris do too much. Because Stephen Morris is one of those guys who kind of is a mistake waiting to happen. He's immensely talented, but you just know that Stephen Morse is going to do something stupid a couple of times a game, which will come back to haunt you. That's just the kind of guy that he is, and guys like that seldom change. He's just a high mistake guy. He can make big plays, but you know he can also make big plays for the other team. So North Carolina wins the belt over Cincinnati, and I swear, I heard Gunnar Kyle's name so much during that telecast, I wanted to vomit. Traitor. <laughs> uh, we'll see how Gunnar does next year. Hopefully he doesn't transfer again. <laughs> but North Carolina, North Carolina is a weird program. They should be better than they are, but there seem to be this team that finds its way to, you know, five or six losses every year and this year is no different you know every year we hear about how good North Carolina's recruiting is and how great their facilities are and how this is gonna be the year that they turn the corner but they inevitably lay an egg they're kind of like a poor man's version of Clemson in that regard I mean how many times have we heard that this is the year that you know Clemson's gonna put it all together with all that talent all those explosive weapons that they have on offense and how the defense is gonna get after it and you know attack opposing offenses and whatnot and what does Clemson do in their biggest games of the year every year they bomb he's in trouble North Carolina is a lot like that. And quite a few programs have that kind of reputation. For years, Texas had that reputation. During the Chris Sims era, especially. Clemson has that reputation. Georgia, for a long time, and probably to an extent, still does have that kind of reputation as well. So, this game's wrapping up. I forced him to burn a couple timeouts that he have left, run the clock out, and this game is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed and are enjoying the football. Talk to you all later. Peace.